We are back here at the LAFC Performance Center. I am Max, and we are here with Jordan Harvey and Stephen Bateshore. Welcome back to LAFC Black and Gold. Gentlemen, you know why you're here together, right? Uh, I don't know why. Because we do a podcast together? No, because you're the two older players here, and uh, we're going to have some... We some, are? Yeah. Oh, two of the older players. I we were experienced. The young, I thought we were two of the younger guys. <laughs> Most conditioned. Ah. Also, fullbacks here. Players. There's a lot that connects you two. And uh, Jordan, something that you said about playing for Bob stuck with us here on LAFC Black and Gold and said that the younger version of Jordan Harvey would have struggled in Bob's system. So I want to ask you, Beta, how would have the younger version of you done in Bob's system? How young are we speaking? That's, well, that's the question. Uh, whole whole first, career ahead of you. Let's say first year might have struggled. Uh, I think second, third year, I started to pick things up. So I would like to think that I can uh, fit in, listen to the system, and try to implement all those things that he talks about. Oh, good answer. It's very complicated, but and as you, Jordan, now at the point of your career, how's Bob's system rejuvenated your playing style? I think that uh, with other teams, uh, maybe we didn't have necessarily a distinct identity, and it's refreshing to have a way of thinking, a way of playing that is day in, day out, that does not change. Um, and to be able to work towards different goals along the way, that is, that's why it's uh, kind of rejuvenated me. Harvey with time. And blessing! It's beautifully done by LAFC. And the assist goes to the oldest player on the pitch, Jordan Harvey. Hey, you guys are pretty busy uh, in addition to the field. We've seen you uh, with the podcast, beta time, TV appearances. There's a lot of demands on your time, certainly with LAFC, a lot of cool stuff you get to do and you get to put yourself in front of the camera. Is that something that you would entertain that you do after your playing career? I think something that we're doing like our podcast, you know, back to back, it's a lot of fun because we don't have to go running around. We don't have to go be on our feet a lot. We're, we're sitting down talking on a mic. It's really simple, <laughs> but it's fun. You do it in a hot tub. Doing a hot tub, you know, you can do it in a hot tub. So things like that, I think it's uh, it's entertaining for us. And who knows, maybe it does um, translate into the next part of our career, which you know people ask all the time, hey, what are you going to do? Are you going to be a coach? Are you going to stick with soccer? So uh, I think we're leaving all doors open. From distance, at Atuesta going left foot inside. It's going to be two for the LAFC, and they get it to go. It's Beta Sure. All right, I'm going to put it out there and look. LAFC are head and shoulders right now in the standings of everybody else. Bonafide MLS Cup contender. How much does winning an MLS Cup drive you guys? I mean, it's our biggest driving force this year. I think you've talked to multiple people about, yeah, you won this many games in a row. You beat this team by this much. And guys, they don't care. I think at the end of the day, all people care about is MLS Cup, holding that trophy on the final day, winning that final game in the playoffs. And that's the most important thing for me, I know for Jordan, for everyone on this team. You know, last year's loss didn't sit well with us. So I think um, there's a reason why we've been on this good run because guys are so motivated. And no losses, I think, sit well with us at all. I mean, there's some that stick out more than others, but, you know, we've only lost a handful of times this year. And, uh, you know, each and every one of those is dissected and we're trying to improve on each and every one. And so winning and winning trophies, it's all that motivates me. But how do you like that? Great recovery there from Jordan Harvey. Does it change anything that you've won one before, that your outlook knowing that you've got that, but your legacy? For me, yeah, I've won Supporters Shield, MLS Cup, whatever. But at the end of the day, if you have multiple championships, if you have multiple trophies, you're always on a winning team. People remember that. People remember your legacy. They're not going to, you know, remember this or that. Like if you made this much money or if you got uh, individual awards. People remember those MLS Cups, those trophies at the end of the year. I see you guys. You're having a great time. You've known each other. You were teammates with the Vancouver Whitecaps. So having had that experience as teammates, uh, is, it, is it good to have him along for the ride? Does that help you in your day-to-day, -day, that familiarity? There Absolutely. better be one answer. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Absolutely, and I think going back- You guys back, are good friends. Yeah, but yeah. going back to all the things, the, the time management, the longevity, the preparation, the recovery, it's infectious. And so having him as my roommate, having him uh, to talk about different things, bounce things off of, really helps moving forward and helps you kind of stay sane through kind of the chaos that an MLS season brings sometimes. Obviously, uh, our two years in Vancouver, we hit it off right away. Just because we have similar mindsets, we, we both are hardworking guys, 
And then when we're roommates on the road and we're talking about, you know, the game and, you know, how can we, what can we do to help our team win this game? You know, sometimes, uh, you know, we have to be unselfish and like, okay, maybe we're not going to look great at this moment, but we're going to win. And then we talk about recovery. We talk about, you know, nutrition, all that stuff. And it, you, you essentially, you're picking, your, you're making each other better. And I think that's what, how we get along so well. And I think we're honest with one another, especially on certain games. If I've had a bad game or a good game, like he will be real with me. And I know it's coming from a place of uh, trying to improve as opposed to, you know, trying to be down on someone. So I think all of those things combined really help uh, each other. Great talking to you guys anytime. My door is open if you need any tidbits in the industry post-career. Appreciate right, it. Good. Hey. <laughs> yeah, keep it open. <laughs> All right. Stephen Badish with Jordan Harvey, LAFC Black and Gold will continue after this.